Welcome to another episode of CPFU from the shop. I'm Isaac Platissi, and as always, I'm here with Jared. Cook. Jared. Jared is supposed to be here. I swear he was supposed to be here. Jared's not coming today. Uh, it's the week of October 29th, 2014. Jared's we have still, Jared bunch of books. will be here next week, though. Definitely. He told me. He is. I He's definitely him. alive. He's definitely alive. not dead. He's alive. I almost, you know, chained him up, but I felt like, you know, racial stuff. Yeah, no, you'd have gotten in trouble with that. Yeah, but not like yeah. for the reasons, like, I wouldn't be like a hate crime, it would just be... You just want to keep him. Yeah, so yeah, you could, you don't want to lose him again, you don't want to lose him again. Yeah. Anyway, first book is Axis Revolutions. I give it zero Lugos. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's terrible, it's bad. The art is bad and the story is bad, and they should feel bad about it. <laughs> There's a Spider-Man story, and the art is terrible by Ken Lashley, who I've seen do good things, and Dennis Hopeless has written it, which he's written good things. And... Uh, a story called The Hoary Hosts of Hate, written by Simon Spurrier and Tang Eng Huat as penciler. And that's bad too, but a little bit less bad, I guess, because I was able to read more of it. There's, they're like dealing with like the fallout of the Red Skull, like making people hate. And it's just like the Fear, uh, Fear Itself ones, where people were like rioting and being angry and hating people. So it's the same exact thing. What do you think? Um, it reminded me of one of those, like, you know, they give, like, free comics to, like, schools and everything to teach them a lesson. <coughs> like, all right, Timmy, don't, you don't hate. We use our words, not our fists. And that's what the first story was sort of liked. Yeah. Like, and the, um, the art is in incredibly rushed. And I just, I expect more from Dennis Hopeless. Yeah. And even, I mean, first of all, this is some of the um, less interesting aspects of Axis with yeah. the hate wave or whatever yeah, it's like it is. The first three issues, uh, it's like the first issue was being dealt with. And, yeah. it's, and that's, it's already over. In, yeah. in Axis, this is already over. So yeah. it's, it's old news. It, yeah, it's, it's old, old news. news. So I don't, I don't care about it. Yeah, no, it wasn't very good. No. Especially the, the, the art in the first is just, just ugly art. Yeah, it's really bad. It's just really bad. Go buy something else. Mm -hmm. Come to the store and buy something else. Yes. Next book? Next book is uh, Deathlock number one. This is a new Mar Marvel number one for this. This is sort of taking the idea of Deathlock from the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show yeah. and bringing it into the comics. But they didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they've done it in a good way um, because they haven't thrown out all the uh, previous Deathlock stuff. They sort of like combined it into yeah. a, a new story. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. The art by uh, Mike Perkins was really good and uh, the writing is by uh, Nathan um, Neil Ed oh, Neil Neil Edmund Edmund something with an N he's the writer on um, Black Widow and uh, Punisher yeah. and he, he does it's a solid first issue book I enjoyed it yeah, that was good good setup it was you don't even have to like Marvel comics to enjoy it it's very much a uh, a spy book kind mm -hmm. of like you know sleeper sleeper yeah. agent kind of thing it ties in a little bit great yeah. Mike Perkins is a great artist it, it ties in a little bit with his uh, Black Widow stuff he uses some yeah, of the villains from Black Widow to like hint that stuff in this. But it was a good first issue. I, yeah. I would give it a 6 out of 10, Lulu's. Ah, uh, that was good. Yeah. Last, uh, last comic book of the week is Harley Quinn Annual, number one. And this was fun. Um, I, I don't love the, the main series. I, I've read a few issues and I just... I don't like the costume and I don't really love everything they did. Um, I know people who love it. Uh, Tony mm -hmm. like, like, really likes it. And he... Uh, Keeps trying to convince me that it's good, and it is. It's like this is fun though. It's a fun one shot, and the uh, the gimmick for this annual is to rub and smell instead of scratch and sniff because Mike told us that they can use scratch and sniff. Yes. So rub and smell. Someone so you, someone owns the rights to yeah. scratch and sniff. So you rub and smell, and most things smell good in the book. And I thought that's fun. It brings me back to childhood yeah. with the scratch and sniff stuff, rub and smell stuff. And there's some like beautiful art in this. Like there's like a bunch of different artists. And just like the issue zero that they had, where they had a bunch of different mm -hmm. artists, the art in this is my favorite part. Uh, Stefan Sedgik, uh, Joe Canone is, are like two phenomenal artists, yeah. and they have two sections in this book. And it's just, you know, it's fun. It's a fun one shot. It, you know, it doesn't change the world. But if you like Harley Quinn, you should really like this. Mm -hmm. And if you don't, you can give it a shot because it's a cute gimmick. Yeah. The, the one thing I, I'd say with the Harley Quinn book is it's so wordy. <laughs> it takes yeah. me forever to read it. You'd think it would be a little bit less wordy. Being as it's just like a fun book. Yeah. But no, there's, there's a lot, lot of words in there. Uh, yeah, they talk a lot. But it's, I liked it. I liked yeah. it better than I liked the series. The, my favorite part was the one, what's his name? <coughs> Stefan Sijic. Yeah. I don't in, know if that's his name. He's not American. His section is sort of like a, they're having like hallucinations. Yeah. And his hallucination is my favorite part of the book. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. His it's art really his nice. is always beautiful and he can somehow, I think he draws two monthly books. Mm -hmm. One of them is his own. And he also like does a bunch of art on like some website and covers. Yeah, too. so he does like, a lot of stuff. And he's it's beautiful art. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I would give this. I think I'd probably give this six out of ten. Lugos. If you like Harley Quinn, you probably give it a little bit more. But I would give it six out of ten. Solid book. I would get it. 
And then we got previews Next, books. We're looking at previews. This is previews for books for the month of uh, January. Yeah. So we're right at January 2015. 2015 is going to be good. Year. Yeah, yes, it is. Um, it's just starting out, we got the Star Wars that was announced at Comic Con. This is uh, John Cassidy. Jason Aaron and John Cassidy. Yeah. And they show some preview art in here that just looks, I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. And they've got uh, Alex Ross covers, they've got Scott Young covers. Yep. Just some really beautiful, beautiful stuff. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a big Star Wars fan. And. A lot of good Star Wars stuff going on. The movie's coming up next year, and the uh, Rebels cartoon is coming out. It's on, and it's pretty good. And that book looks, the John Cassidy art looks really on yeah. point. Also, that was uh, the best thing I saw in that. Yeah, no. Uh, also, Uncanny Avengers is yeah. starting again after the events of Axis, with it seems like an all um, either villains or people who used to be villains team, mm -hmm. with uh, Daniel Acuna on art and Rick Remainder in writing. Yeah. So that's another big Marvel book. Yeah. And then it, it, Marvel continues with their road to, uh, I guess, the road to Secret Wars. With the uh, time runs out, which is really good, yeah, and good covers. good covers. Wolverines, the weekly series tying into the death of is Wolverine that right starts this month. Yeah, January. then we got some Mister Sinister cover and Nick Bradshaw art, which is yeah. looks really cool. Bradshaw's good. Uh, in uh, DC, in the main uh, previous catalog, uh, Damian Wayne comes back yeah. as the sidekick. Uh, bulletproof. He is. He's Fire got, away. He's big. <laughs> that song's. He's got that. Uh, <laughs> also. Um, <laughs> Uh, Jonathan Hickman starts a new image book, which he calls Indiana Jones for Old People. He says there's no fedoras but bedpans, lots of big bedpans. And if that's not a good uh, tagline to make you want to buy the book, I don't know what is. Better uh, tagline. Yeah. Uh, there's better. also... A better tagline would be yeah. better, I think. And then there's... <laughs> well, I like that. That's fine. Uh, and then there's also uh, Matt Fraction is starring up a new volume of uh, his independent book, Casanova. Uh, is there anything else? DC has got a lot of variant covers. They've been doing a lot of variant covers lately, and they've, some have been better than others. This uh, month they have some Flash covers, because mm -hmm. Flash is 75th anniversaries next year. And some of them are really cool. I like there's a, uh, what's it called? Mad Love. Mm -hmm. the, it's a Batman Wild Batman West. series. No, no. Well, Wild West is all the if Flash yeah. is in that, because you can't tell. But uh, no, some good Flash covers, because of the anniversary. That's why I like that. Yeah. Also, for uh, Valiant, um, is doing. They're starring in another, one of their new books uh, coming up. Is uh, Time Walker, Ivar the Time Walker. If you remember like Ivar, book. he's the brother of Archer and Armstrong and everything. So he's getting his own book. And then there's a bunch of other new books. Lots of uh, new number ones coming out for January. Yeah, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. I would be we would be uh, bereft if we didn't talk about like the uh, Marvel movies. They announced Phase Three today. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Mar Marvel dropped the bombs. Today. Yeah. May 6th, 2016 is Captain America 3 Civil War. November 4th, 2016 is Doctor Strange. Maybe starring Benedict Cumberbatch, maybe not. We don't know officially yet. Uh, May 5th, 2017 is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. That was moved. Uh, July 28th, 2017 is Thor 3 Ragnarok. And they're saying that that's going to be like major. Yeah. In the it, same it, way that Winter Soldier It goes right Marvel. from whatever he is at the end of Age of Ultron. Yeah. And takes us into, well, you'll, yeah. you'll see. I'm... You know, I'm I'm hoping for things. Uh, November 3rd, 2017, Black Panther starring mm -hmm. Chadwick Boseman. And if that's not perfect casting, that's great casting. Casting. Um, that's great casting. July 6th, 2018, Captain Marvel. It's going to be Carol Danvers, so that should be pretty cool. November 2nd, 2018, is Inhumans. And then uh, the big ones for me, May 4th, 2018, is Avengers Infinity War Part 1. May 3rd, 2019, is Avengers Infinity War Part 2. Mm -hmm. And these are all great movies, and you can find like some of these characters if you're not familiar with them. Come to the comic book store. Come to Manifest. I was yeah, looking yeah. at these shelves before. There's one copy of Infinity Gauntlet left. Come back, buy it before anybody else gets it. And if somebody gets it, order it. Uh, Inhumans, there's a great 12-issue miniseries by Paul Jenkins and Jay Lee. Yeah. You should get that. Black Panther, I've never really read a good Black Panther series. Jason Aaron did a really good Black Secret Panther in, during Secret Invasion. That and was really he's really good in uh, John and Nickman's Fantastic yeah. Four and Avengers books. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy always come by. Doctor Strange is a good J. Michael Straczynski origin story by him. Um, and also a War. Brian K. Vaughan, uh, Marco Smartin yeah. mini. Yeah. That always, was really good. It's always good things. Come to like the store. Civil War, they have Mark Millar and Steve McNiven. Mm -hmm. Just come to a shop and come to Manifest Comics in Bayonne. Come to any shop and just be like, hey, I like these movie sounds. Yes. You know, I want to know more. Tell me more. And they will. And you can buy books Show and pay them more. money. And that's it. Hopefully next week Jared comes back so you can all see that he's alive and not just me because I'm the only one who's seen him alive. Yeah. And I'm and starting to think that I'm crazy. So. Yeah. Sam's not a good uh, eyewitness. I'm not. See you next week.